information systems should be secured during their runtime, to protect the data and to ensure that access is allowed as granted. Computers implement security at runtime using several protection mechanisms such as protection rings, security modes, and operational states. Protection rings is an old security mechanism that dates back to the Multics operating system. This mechanism defines several security rings or circles that are concentric to one another, and the deeper one goes from an outer ring to an inner one, the higher the privilege level gets. Modern systems use a four-ring model where the ring 0 is related to the kernel, the ring 1 is related to the operating system components, the ring 2 is related to the drivers, and the ring 3 related to the programs and applications. The ring 0 has the highest privilege level, and has access to all the available resources and files. This part of the operating system is always present in memory. The ring 1 presents the other components of the operating system that change as the tasks require. The ring 2 presents the input and output drivers and system utilities, which are capable of accessing peripheral devices, and ring 3 is occupied with the applications and programs. The ring model is based on prioritization, memory segmentation, and privilege levels. The execution of processes is prioritized based on which ring the process belongs to, where processes with lower ring numbers are executed first. Those processes are capable of accessing more resources as well, and can more directly interact with the operating system. In case processes of higher rings require access to more privileged services, then they should make a request to a driver in a lower ring. Modern systems break the memory associated with the rings into two parts, one for system access called privileged mode that encompasses rings 0, 1, and 2, and another for user applications called user mode that encompasses ring 3. This allows the operating system to protect itself from the users and the applications, where direct access to specific resources is only allowed through specific rings. Rings determine what each process is able to access and what resources it can request from other processes in the lower rings. Processes can generally access resources within their own ring and the rings of less priority, where for example, a process in the ring 1 can access resources in the rings 2 and 3, but not in ring 0. Otherwise, as mentioned earlier, a special driver or handler has to be called upon, which is an interface designed to pass this access request from one ring to higher prioritized ones. The handler checks if the process has the right credentials and if it's allowed to make such a request before it is granted the access. This is usually referred to as a system call.